This is Cleet Roberts, reporting from Phoenix City, Alabama. I'm here to learn the truth about Phoenix City. Like many other Americans and people throughout the world, I had heard the story of the criminal syndicate which allegedly controlled this city for many years. And I'd heard the tale of the cold-blooded murder of Albert A. Patterson, Alabama's attorney general nominate. The declaration of martial law in Phoenix City was also well known to me. And like many of you, I had read of it in the pages of national news magazines such as Life, Time, Look, and the Saturday Evening Post. Recently, I learned that the Columbus, Georgia Ledger Inquirer was being considered for a Pulitzer Prize, a prize later won for the part it played in unmasking the criminal syndicate here in Phoenix City. This prompted me as a reporter to come down here to find out what really happened, to learn how the good people of Phoenix City had triumphed over evil and how democracy had successfully asserted itself over a very real dictatorship. I learned many shocking facts from the people who lived the Phoenix City story, the real people involved. You will meet them in a moment as I talk with them, and I warn you that what you hear them say, you will find hard to believe, but they speak the truth. I warn you, too, that what you are about to see in the picture which follows my news report will shock you, too. It is brutal. It's shocking. But it is based upon the actual story of what happened here in Phoenix City. <laughs> 